I'm Pastor George Borkard, and this is another Higher Things video short. The seizing of Jesus in Gethsemane, what it says about us. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications. Get our app. It's available on all major platforms. Donate. Your tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org slash giving keeps us filling youth's ears with the saving power of the gospel. And we all need this gospel in these dark times. On Fridays, I like to highlight something from the Bible study. Last week, we, um, this last week, we went through John 18, the front part of it, where Jesus is seized by the soldiers, a cohort of soldiers, which is anywhere between um, a tenth of a, uh, probably around a tenth of a legion, which is a significant amount, 600 soldiers. Um, I would think it would be closer to 100 soldiers, but it's a lot. So those soldiers come out to see Jesus. It's dark, uh, and Judas and the Pharisees and the, um, uh, the chief priests are with them with the soldiers who are going to seize Jesus. And when they, when they get to see, when they get to Jesus, it's Jesus who knows what's going to happen to him. Walks out to meet them in the darkness and says, whom do you seek? And they say, Jesus of Nazareth. And so he says to them in verse six, ego e me, I am. That's what he says. I am. And when he said this, they drew back and fell to the ground. I am is the name of God. I am who I am. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moses says, who am I supposed to say sent me when you sent me to the children of Israel to get them out of Egypt? You tell them, I am sent me, sent you. I am. When he says, I am, he proclaims himself to be God. The only God there is, the God of the Old Testament. Jehovah equals Jesus. And when he says that, their reaction to that is that the force and the might of God in their midst causes them to step back and fall down. They fall down. And this is not the chief priests and the, and the teachers of the law as if they're upset. This is all of them. All of them fall down. All of them. Because they're engaging the living God. Holy God and sinners don't mix. It's the sinners that are done in. And on the last day, every knee will bow and every tongue confess. Whether you believe Jesus or not, you're going to stand before him on the last day. And you're going to kneel. So they fall down before the God who made them. And you would think that that would be the end of it. But it's not. They pick themselves back up again, and he says to them, whom do you seek? Jesus of Nazareth again. He said, well, I told you that I'm him. So if you're seeking me, let these others go. This is what sinners do. We'd like to think that we are on God's team and that we are pro him and that everything, every little thing he does is magic. We think that that's what's going on with him. And that we're on his side. And if anyone is on your side, Jesus, it's this guy. But in actuality, our lives are lived against him, fighting him, his enemy. And even when he knocks us down, even when pandemic and crazy election and hurricanes and earthquakes and dangerous killer hornets, all of that, none of it calls us to repentance. We just pick ourselves back up again when we can catch our breath and we fight with God some more. 
Now, the, the truth of the, of the Christian faith is that God lets us beat him. God lets us seize him, throw him around, falsely accuse him, slander him, beat on him, beat on him some more, whip him to near death, and then make him carry his own execution uh, instrument to outside of town, because he ain't even worthy to be murdered in town, where we will string him up for all to see, mock him some more, drive some nails into his hands and feet, and lift him up above the earth, mocking him some more, so that we can so that we can watch him die. Now you need to see why they need 600 soldiers. Because if you're going to do that to God, you're going to need more men. Like uh, Jaws, we're going to need a bigger boat. With God, we're going to need more men. And Jesus, knowing all that's going to happen to him, knowing that this is going to happen, doesn't say, you know, like he has the ring of power. You're of a king, a mighty king who will rule you with the ring. No, no, he doesn't do that. No, no, he doesn't do that. Instead, he humbles himself and becomes obedient unto death, even death on the cross. And God raises him from the dead. And in him, God raises you from the dead so that you have eternal life forever in him. Gethsemane shows us a lot about ourselves, but it shows us more about the God who dies to save us. I'm Pastor George Barker. Thor's still not feeling good from those cookies. And this has been another Higher Things video short. <laughs>